Cote d'Amour. What's your next project? Well, after my tour, I plan to be doing another movie. I'll take a break in the summer and start to shoot a movie in the fall. But it's a secret project and I can't talk about it. Good. Mm -hmm. So you planning, you can actually take some breaks sometimes? Do yeah, actually, views I can. Yeah, I just don't tell anyone where I'm going. And I leave for two weeks and no one can find me, so. With a new love? <laughs> That's a secret, too. <laughs> okay, what other country do you want to explore and... Well, I haven't been to Australia yet, and I want to go there, and I know I have to go there to do a tour. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to Europe, and I'm going to go to England and France and Germany, and then I'm going to go over to Japan and cut down to Australia. So aren't you further going to put you in a Mad Max movie? No. <laughs> I wish. I would love to be in a Nah. No, that wouldn't be possible. Do you like the feeling of being recognized in the streets and things like that? Um, it depends on my mood. Sometimes <laughs> it's really fun and flattering when people come up to you, but there are times when fans can be very rude to you, and they feel because that you're a, a public image that that they know you personally and they can come up to you and kiss you or touch you or ask you for your phone number or walk you to your door and it's, um, it's a little bit alarming. And then after a while my boyfriend doesn't want to go out with me because he never gets to be alone with me. People oh. are always bothering me. <laughs> what if he's famous himself? There might be a chance there. Then we never go out. <laughs> then we stay home and watch TV all the time. Great. I'm going to weigh about 10 more pounds when I leave the store.